Alright guys, so welcome to a video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get the fake client. Alright, so if I open this folder, I've already got it all installed, but basically what it is, it allows you to have a couple of PvP features, let's say. And let me just quickly show you guys. So I'm on my main account, Shadow M. If I load into a world, sorry, I'm using a, my own t texture pack, so things might a little look a little weird. Alright, so, as you can see, uh, because I've installed the client, I've got keystrokes, as you can see, toggle sprint, um, we've got zoom, so you can do like the little optifine zoom, and yeah, so basically I'm going to be teaching you how to do this in today's video, so um, let's get straight into it. Right, so what you guys need is you need to uh, create a new folder, so I'm going to go on my desktop and click the new button. And then create a folder, and I'm just going to name this one, I don't know. Okay, so as soon as you've got your folder, put it anywhere on your desktop. And um, there's going to be three links in the description. So, there's going to be um, one to their Discord. So, this is their Discord server. It's really cool, you can like, down the, you've got backups, you got, you know, you got some like, extra stuff. you got like, some skins, and... If you ever want some like updates, I recommend joining the Discord server. Also, we're nearly about to hit 60 subs. I really want to hit 60 subs in the, by the end of the month. So if you guys can subscribe, uh, it's free. And you know, if you don't want it, if you don't enjoy my content, then just unsubscribe. All right. So once you get to this page, this will be the first link. This is going to be um, the one you download. Now, I don't recommend downloading this one. The 360 perspective because that is banned on most servers we want to get the safest one and not the one that gets you banned from server so i recommend going for the uh the smooth sp uh sm yeah, smooth cps counter now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click assist and you're gonna download these files here so let's download the first one now you're gonna have to put this into your uh folder so let's go desktop and we want to put it in this one, so let's click save. Put this one. I don't know why there's two, I think there's like two for like different versions. But uh, I've got this mod that does this thing. Usually it'll just come up as this file, but I've got a mod that, uh, not a mod, it's like a little thing that puts everything in one file. But you should just get this file. Um, you should just be getting this file. So you download that, put, you know, keep all the steps and put it in the I don't know folder or whatever you want to call the folder so um, yeah. now as soon as you do that you go to the injector uh, uh, it doesn't matter which injector I reckon just go for this one um, if your computer does not uh, allow it or does it, if, if it's some for some reason if it doesn't not work go down to this link and download this now what this is it's um, the last support for uh, CC Plus. Now, if it does not work, you need to download it. But if it does work and everything is working, it should allow you to open the injector. But basically, if for some reason it doesn't let you open it, then download this in whatever version you want. All right. So now you have to install the injector. Now, if the injector does not work, as I said, go down here and click this. But if it does work, and you'll find out in a minute. You'll also put this in the desktop folder. Let's save it in here and then save it in here and then done. Click yes. Now it will say that Windows is trying to protect your computer. Um, I promise you it is not a virus, just run it anyway. It basically, Windows doesn't like anything being injected to any game. So, yeah, basically, it does. It, it, it doesn't. It does not like it if you try and inject anything. But just click run anyway. It's not a virus, I promise. It, it, it works basically. Now you're gonna click eject, and it's gonna say uh, invalid. Oh, sorry, mine's already got working. But basically, it's probably not gonna work, as you can see here. It's not working. This is because you haven't picked the path. So if you go down here and click the select button, 
and then you have to click the fake client DLL. You click that and then you click inject and then everything should be working, everything should be turned on. You click save and you click back and then you go into your game and it should look something like this. Now you're saying, well Shadow, this is not what this is not what this is not what you showed us earlier. It's a little different. Now the reason why it's different is because uh, in Fake Client there's texture packs for Fake Client. So this is kind of like the default one. In the description I will put a link to the um, to the texture pack I use. Um, you basically just click on it and then it just downloads it. And then you just like open Minecraft up. It's basically the same as downloading a texture pack. But as soon as you download that. You know, say if you do, this is for people that actually do want to have it like the way I have it. But as soon as you like download it from the description, you click this one, it should be called Fake Client UI Skin Compatible Bet Compact Better Keystrokes. You click Activate, you click Loading Resources, you go back into your world slash server. And there you go. Now it is all working. Now you can show off your CPS. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn notifications. We are trying to hit 60 subs. We are very we're on 50. Yeah, we're on 54 subs. Try and get us to 60 by the end of the month. That's mostly like a personal goal. And if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, just subscribe. You know, it's free and it helps me out a lot. It also like put in the comments like what other video ideas you want me to do or what videos you want me to do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, and turn notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.